Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars Aligned Oracle YouTube channel and the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with a quick reading today. Uh, this will be a timeless reading. Timeless meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody. So please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, y'all. So your girl has been out playing in the junkyards today. Uh, pulling some parts, doing some things, getting, yeah, some fuses and some lights and some lug nuts and all the things today. So I'm a little bit behind on uh, getting the reading out. The reading today was actually meant to be the Aquarius October 2023 reading, but instead we're, uh, I'm here, but it's going to just be a super quick, or it's planned to just be a super quick whew, uh, reading just to kind of give you some insight. Okay. It is timeless. So whenever you come across it, it's when the insight is valid for you, as long as it resonates. Okay. Um, yeah. So the, the general October, 2023 reading and the love October, 2023 reading will be coming out. I, I'm not sure sometime, probably either tomorrow, Friday, uh, or tomorrow, or I don't know soon, but whenever it is, is the perfect time. Okay. <laughs> So let's see. Let's see what's coming through here. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh. Six of swords. Interesting, Aquarius. So you've got creating advantages from frustration. Okay. And you've got that six of swords over there. So, wow. Some of you, Aquarius, during this time, um, again, timeless whenever you come across it, but some of you are really, really in a place where you're super frustrated about something. Okay. Um, but through that, you're creating advantages for yourself. Something is going to be turning all around topsy-turvy. Um, there's going to be a change or a shift in uh, economic, uh, career, relationship, something. There's something that you have been so frustrated about, um, something that maybe hadn't been working out or whatever. And you're, it's almost like, like what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is it's almost like there's, there's something that you have been wanting or needing, like maybe within the market and there it's not, it's not there. And so you're potentially creating a new niche, right? To bring that to the public because it's something that you have wanted or needed. And there's that ideas or that insight or that understanding that if it's something that you're looking for, that there's probably other people out there that are looking for it as well. So you are in this space, Aquarius, of kind of this creative energy where potentially, right, um, whatever is frustrating you. And if you're not in that space yet, pay attention to the frustrations that you're having. Okay. Where are you frustrated? What are you frustrated about? Kind of what, and then what can you do creatively? What can you maybe create or advantage can you create from that? That will be good for you, but not only just good for you, but good for the highest good of all, because if it's something that you're looking for or something that is eluding you or hasn't been brought to market or isn't around or isn't the answered or whatever it may be, then again, there's potentially other people that are looking for it as well. So you could actually um, help others or it could be for the highest good of you and the highest good of others in the process. So that's beautiful because it does bring about this energy of being of service for others. Okay. Now you also have this six of swords and spirit is saying that these go together. These two cards go together, the six of swords and this, uh, creative advantages card. So that it's interesting that spirit's having that, but some of you are because of the frustration you're moving on from something or someone or a situation or an event or a workplace or whatever it may be, you're ready to move on with that six of swords uh, due to that frustration. And it is going to be advantageous for you. It is going to be a good move, whatever way it comes through for you here, Aquarius. Okay. This, this does create like some momentum or an energy or a feeling of um, a shift in perspective or progress moving forward. Right. This is this, you see this card has the swords and they're in like a makeshift air, hot air balloon moving forward. Cause to me, that's forward. Of course, that's up to you or interpretation, but to me, this is a forward movement going forward. So there's, there's an advantageous energy around 
around that for those of you that are actually just frustrated with the situation and are ready to move on. Spirit's indicating that it will be a good move for you. It will be positive. There is that progress. It also creates this energy of a shift in perspective. It's almost as if the world is opening up for you or you're above everything if that makes sense like you're soaring kind of above so you can get a bigger picture idea so things look different from that vantage point okay beautiful energy coming through here for you Aquarius all right interesting so you've got your magnetic your magnetic drawing people events and things into you isn't that interesting so whatever this potential for frustration is Aquarius is opening up this new world which is um, creating this magnetic energy around you right you you've uh, you either are or you have or you will be right moving into this new kind of space within your within yourself within your environment within your reality that is um, opening up and drawing people to you it's magnetizing people to you but if not for this and this potentially for those of you, right? But if not for this and this, there's, or that and that, there's that potential that this wouldn't be happening as well. It's almost as if everything is kind of working. Um, it's like the, a jigsaw puzzle and the next piece and the next piece and the next piece reveals which corner you're working on or what have you, right? If that makes sense. Um, but if not for these two, this one or this one or both of them together, this wouldn't be happening because you also have this four of pentacles here and that four of pentacles is this energy that's coming through with this reading as of almost kind of a, a stingy energy or a stubborn energy. So some of you have been fairly stubborn. Being in that frustrated state for some of you has just been something where you've potentially gone home and complained about, or you've been very stubborn and been like, okay, well, I can't do anything about it. I'm just going to stay in it. Right. Um, but something is shifting. There's that progress that is coming through that is really in this, it's moving this place of, of, um, stubbornness into kind of a stability some of you have been holding on to a fear of letting go it's like you're holding so tightly but you're so effing frustrated right and and then something comes along or something happens it could be something that somebody says it could be a thought that comes through it could be a dream that you have okay that is it's so interesting um it's almost as if the dream is of something that you don't want to happen or something that you have been staying away from or something you've been fearful of, but it just opens up a new perspective where you're like, oh, that was silly. Why am I so worried? Or why have I been being so goofy? Right. Um, but if not for these, then that wouldn't come through, but you're magnetizing people to you. You've got people, um, showing up or there's, there's invites to events, right. Or, um, the pieces or parts maybe at the junkyard, <laughs> are there this time when they haven't been um the last couple times you visited or talked to somebody or been in the situation or whatever it is it's like it's all being drawn in you're magnetizing it to you but if not for these events there's a potential that it wouldn't happen so basically the whole message here that seems to be coming through or feels like it's coming through and you can take it as it resonates here of course is that things the things that happen happen for a reason they happen in the in the order that they're meant to happen and when one thing happens whether you you feel like it's good or bad, right? Um, because we put the labels on it. So something might happen to one of us or for one of us, and we could see it as happening to or for, right? And somebody else may have the same exact thing or su super similar anyway, happen and may see it completely different. It's our perspective, right? Um, but there's, it's, there's an opening, there's a shifting, there's that perspective coming through. And, but if not for this, if, but if not for this here, getting ahead of myself, right? Then there's that potential that this couldn't come through, like that moving from stubbornness to feeling, um, or, or being open to feeling um, an energy of stability or that fear of letting go turning into this energy of drawing or magnetizing people into you, right? Everything happens for a reason and or, and or it happens in its way, okay? Uh, at the time or divine timing or the interval or within the plan as it is meant to come through. Sometimes we want to jump ahead or we want to side skip or we want to skip completely, 
some of the steps and, and spirits reminding you within this reading, of course, but if not for then, when it's time for it to come through, right? When you have that frustration, when you're ready to, to leave or when you're ready, right, for that progress or that hot air balloon to see the big picture, right? Then you're going to magnetize. Then there's that potential for that um, feeling of stubbornness or that fear of letting go to turn into this energy of being like, no, I draw everything to me. I get to create, I get to do, I get to have that vibe or that energy or whatever, whatever that can create that security or bring the people to me or, or bring the events in or right. I get to draw them in. I get to magnetize it to me because I do. Right. And because when I am frustrated, that frustration actually is an offer or an invitation for me to create something new or to really look at it as an advantage or look at the silver lining or see the other side or the big picture. Right. There's so many com um so many messages coming through with this Aquarius. Some of you may be having a difficult time and, and that's why spirit wants this quick message to come through for you is because, you know, but if not for, for then, um, then this may not happen, right? Then this energy that's coming through. Now you have these two pages, the page of cups and the page of wands. Okay. Pages, multiple pages are kind of this energy of a new path right conceiving a new idea and so see that's what's happening here from this frustration you are conceiving this energy of a creative advantage of moving into what is 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 good for you right of drawing people to you of having this energy with a page of cups here um that page of cups energy is coming through with this energy of you know what i i can have this right this energy of doing or having or being, right? There's that creativity, there's that possibilities, there's using your imagination to create those advantageous um, um, opportunities or openings, right? Um, creating advantages, creating that uh, magnetic draw, right? Also, some of you, this may be coming through as a message as you have two pages here and pages tend to be kind of communication or a message coming through. So that is double strong uh, for you. It could be communication regarding an event. It could be communication regarding, you know, potentially something that you're creating. It could be communication that is financial. It could be kind of communication that because you have all four, you have uh, air, you have earth or yeah you have uh, swords air earth pentacles you have cups right um which is water and then you have wands which is fire so your every corner is represented here or every um kind of s suit or season or however you want to see that all four corners basically, or all the corners or all four, you're being represented in both of Christ. And this is coming through during this time because spirit wants you to remember that, you know, you get to have, do and be whatever it is, but, but if not for it, then, you know, there has to be steps in place. So this is, this is like this energy of some of you are wanting to get ahead of yourself or put the cart cart before the horse and spirit saying slow down just a little bit let this the pieces fall into place let the people be in the places that they're supposed to be to fulfill or let you know that frustration build up which you know maybe we don't like but till it gets to that burning point and then you are creating those advantages for yourself too you're so frustrated that you're doing good for you and for others right um it, it has to i mean spirits like it it kind of has to come through this way okay interesting energy uh the page of wands here with that energy of of energy right um the page of wands is like that inspiration stepping up being ambitious um limited but um, limitless potential so you have the page of cups which is those um, possibilities, that energy of really using your creativity and your imagination, right? Creative advantages, creating those. And the page of, of wands is really that inspiration and limitless potential. So Aquarius, spirit is indicating that you you are limitless. You have the potential. You, you have everything that you need. And yet, sometimes divine timing needs to play the part as well and we can get ahead of ourselves we can get upset we can really want to take things out of step but if not for then right we need to allow for the steps to fall into place as they are when we get a little bit now you can speed it up spirit saying you can speed it up here Christ but when you get 
in that space where your uh, things aren't happening fast enough or you're trying to force things, you can actually slow it down. So that's what spirit wants you to come through, wants you to understand, wants you to see. So for those of you that are like, do it, do it, do it. It's got to be done. And this and that and da, da, da. And why isn't it here? And why I'm looking, I planted the seed and I'm digging it up every day because I'm not seeing anything happening. Yeah, you're slowing it down. Okay. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Um, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving as always. I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.